It's a big day for you to come into you with this roundtable, this installment, this week's installment of the Bishop's Roundtable right here at WGBD, 1240 AM. I'm representing the Hollywood Full Gospel Baptist Cathedral of Amityville, New York, along with our co-host, Bishop Stephanie Riddle-Green of the Joshua Baptist Cathedral in the Green Lawn section of Huntington. We're delighted that you're with us tonight. All righty, all so righty. Brother, what is that? Longevity. And I do remember your role in Roots Part 2. Roots Part 2. Uh, and part Roots of was Haley's probably baby. 2000, I mean, 19, probably 1980, oh, I know what it is, 1988, 89, 88, 89, 89, because my oldest, my second, fourth, next to the oldest, was an infant when we shot the company picture for Roots 2. He was still in a in a in a baby carriage. Wow! Right? Wow! Wow! Great history, fascinating history. Let's take a minute and back up, uh, brother Holiday, and talk about you are a native of Long Island, the product of Long Island in the Amityville Copay area, and uh, give those who perhaps are not familiar a quick overview of your trek and journey from. Um, your time at Copic. I, as a youngster, I remember growing up and there were two outstanding athletes that Amityville uh, football and track teams were fearful of. One was uh, Whitaker from Wine Dance and the other no, was Bobby Whitaker Hines. was on my relay team at Copic. <laughs> <laughs> I think this was another Whitaker. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to say. Yeah, Bobby Whitaker, Whitaker was awesome, man. He was fearsome. <laughs> But yeah, you were part of a, a, a fantastic four relay team right. at Copaic High School, and uh, um, so kind of take us down memory lane for a few minutes. Okay, uh, Copaic High School. Well, you know, I was just just a little four eyed kid. And, you know, here come old four eyes and <laughs> beat him up again. <laughs> and um, what happened was four eyes got got sent off to summer camp by uh -huh. his mama because my dad my dad passed away when I was twelve, and. Um, I'd stop right here and say, Pastor A.C. Luther and Hollywood Baptist Church see, right. is a major portion of my foundation because your dad was my dad. Yes, your yes. dad embraced me, brought me into the family. You are my brother. We grew up in the church together. And and I, and I just want to express that love. I, every time I get the opportunity, I talk about two men mm -hmm. in, in that, uh, that time in my life that, that came, saved my life. One was Walter G. O'Connell, the principal yes, uh, and, and the namesake of the new high school, who was my principal, and Andy C. Luter, pastor of Hollywood Baptist Church. Now, there, was there a little predestination going on there? You know, who knew at that time that I would wind up in Hollywood? But <laughs> from Hollywood, you know? <laughs> But you know, at, at the during the school, yeah, I was uh, I was uh, fortunate to be a tremendous athlete. I was all Long Island, all county, all everything in football. Um, I was all county, all everything in track. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a relay team that set records, yes. which still stand today. By your own uh, personal commitment to character development, I remember several years ago while pastoring in Columbus, Ohio, uh, there was a. Uh, gospel stage play that came to Columbus, Ohio. You played this roguish, thuggish type character uh, in that play, and you were so convincing. And uh, uh, having known you personally, I was just uh, overwhelmed with that portrayal. Uh, spend a minute talking about uh, what goes into character development for you and, and your craft as an actor. Honesty. You must see a lot of people think being an actor is about being able to lie. No, it is exactly the opposite. You must be very honest. You gotta be honest with yourself because if you don't know yourself, how can you give totally of yourself to this character mm -hmm. that you're trying to develop? And when you open the mouth of that character, that character has to speak with honesty about what he has to be what he is 100%. It is a commitment to delve in places that a lot of people won't even look at themselves, much less apply these characteristics to someone else, somebody that someone else has written and created. What I do when I, when I get a script, I am essentially creating a life. I'm giving my spirit, I'm giving a spirit to what is just a set of words. I'm 
as God gave the word life. Well, that's essentially what you do when you create a great character. Mm -hmm. It was Charles Godone's oh. No Place to Be Somebody. My, uh, your, your reaction and your response. My biggest directorial effort. Now, this is, this is really wonderful stuff. When I was first beginning, uh, and when I had taken my first acting class, a friend of mine from my camp days, a gentleman by the name of Johnny Korakoff, gave me a call and said, Hey, kid. I said, I was going to be in the city. Hey, Johnny, I'm going to be in the city. Okay, you know what? My my girl, my sister's boyfriend has a new play. You want to go see it? I said, yeah, okay. So we wind up at the public theater, way up on the third balcony, standing there with what turns out to be Charles Gordon, mm. the first African-American Pulitzer Prize winner. Right, right. At that point in time, he hadn't won the Pulitzer Prize because No Place to Be Somebody had just opened. But we stand up where...